Hi, welcome to yet another video. Today we'll be discussing bar chords, which are a slightly more intermediate level of chords other than the open chords that you can play. Let us start this video by um, understanding the notes on the fretboard first, because uh, for these chords which are transferable on over the fretboard, you need to know which note you're holding while holding the chord. So, um, assuming you know the names of the strings, which is E, B, G, D, A, E, there are two main types of chords. One is a major chord and second is a minor chord. Now in the system of bar chords, we can uh, branch them down into two parts. One, those that start from the sixth string and the second that start from the fifth string. Let us start by understanding the names of the notes on these two strings, mainly the sixth and the fifth, because we're going to name the chords accordingly. Uh, some of you might not know the names of these um, notes by heart so um, instead of me explaining the entire fretboard to you which i will have on another video let me just tell you some notes which you should know just by heart uh, for example on the sixth string which is the e string this is the e note obviously the first fret is the f note third is the g fifth is the a seventh is the b ninth is the c sharp note and 12th is the E again. Similarly on the 5th string, which is the A string, when you play it open, it makes the A note. The 1st fret would be A sharp or B flat. The 3rd the third fret uh, on the 5th string would be a C, 5th would be a D, 7th would be an E, 9th would be an F sharp, 10th would be a G, 12th would be an A note again. So this is the basic information you need to understand bar chords. Of course, it is uh, very important for you to know the entire fretboard and the names of the notes by heart. We are going to do the F major bar chord first, which is the first position of the major chord in the bar chord series. The first thing essentially you will have to do is bar the entire fret with one finger, which is the first finger. So technically you are playing the first fret of every string. Although there are other fingers that will be put on the strings. So the notes will change. So you take your first finger, put it on the entire fret number one. Take your second finger, put it on the third string, second fret. Take your third finger, put it on the third fret of the fifth string. And just below it, on the fourth string, third fret, put your fourth finger. This is your F major bar chord. Make sure that all these notes are pressed with this finger because Technically, you need fret number 1, strings number 1, 2 and 6 to ring because of this finger and the other notes are being played because of these three fingers. This is the F major bar chord. This is what it sounds like. Once you learn this chord, you can easily transfer this chord to any other position and it becomes a different chord. That's why bar chords are known as transferable chords. So. As you know that this note is an F note, the chord becomes an F major chord. Now if you want to play a G major chord, you can play the same shape starting from the 3rd fret of the 6th string, which makes it a G major bar chord. Similarly, if you want to play the A major bar chord, you go to the 5th fret, which means it's an A note and you play the whole chord by transferring the entire shape to this section of the fretboard. Similarly, you can play F, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, whichever chord you want. Say if you want to play the D major bar chord on the 6th string. Now you have to find the D note on the 6th string first, which means it's on the 10th fret. So you take the same shape and hold the shape on uh, starting on the 10th fret as a bar and play the same chord. It becomes a D major bar chord. Let's go to the second type of chord, which is a minor chord on the 6th string. We are going to do an F minor bar chord starting on the 6th string. There's a very easy way to play a minor bar chord if you already know the major bar chord. So, for example, if you already know the F major bar chord, the only difference between this chord and the minor chord would be that you lift this finger up and keep, keep it like this and just play. This becomes an F minor chord. 
I will still explain how you have to hold this chord. You take, uh, say we are playing the F minor chord, you have to take your first finger, hold the entire fret number one. So all six strings are held here. Take your third finger. You're gonna, you're not gonna use your second finger for this chord. Take your third finger, put it on the third fret of the fifth string. Take your fourth finger, put it just below it, which is the fourth string, third fret, and play the entire chord. So there's a difference of only one note, which has changed. It's the F minor bar chord. Now, say you want to play the G sharp minor bar chord. A very easy way to do that is to find a G sharp note on the sixth string, which is F, F sharp, G, G sharp, G sharp. Hold the same position like this. This becomes your G sharp bar chord. That makes you capable of playing 12 different minor bar chords starting on the sixth string. So I'm going to play all the 12 bar chords in major and minor both just for you to understand it better. Let's start with the F major bar chord. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and so on. Now let's do the minor chord, the minor bar chord starting from the F minor. F minor, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, B, B sharp, E. Now let's start learning the second set of bar chords which will start on the fifth string. The first one that we'll do will be the major bar chord. Say we start with the C major bar chord. Uh, now the C note is on the third fret of the fifth string. Now our chord will be something like this for this type of bar chord you need to bar all the strings except the last and play so since we are doing the c major chord we're going to bar the entire third fret except the sixth string so this is the bar that we're holding the next thing you can do is you can use your third finger and hold fret number five of the strings number two three and four with one finger which means you're playing three notes holding just one finger. This is your C major bar chord. This type of bar chord is also transferable. So say if I want to learn the D major bar chord, what, what I need to do is I just transfer the C major to the fifth fret instead of the third fret because the fifth fret of the fifth string is a D note and you hold the same position. It will give you the D major bar chord. Say if you want to play the F major bar chord on the 5th string. You find the F note on the 5th string which is on the 8th fret. Because A, A sharp, C, D, E, F. So you hold the same position and play. Some guitar players uh, hold this type of a chord in a different way which, which is they uh, hold uh, these three notes with three fingers instead of holding with one finger which makes it this chord makes it easier to play certain chords like this which is a, another advantage of playing the chord like this so you can play it like this so if you want to play the E major bar chord starting from the fifth string in this position and this style you can play it like this Let's do the fourth type of chord which is the minor bar chord starting on the fifth string. Okay. The first chord that I'd like to teach you is the B flat minor chord which will start on the first fret of the fifth string which is the A string. So you bar the entire first fret except the sixth string. So you take your first finger and hold the first five strings with that. Take your second finger, hold the second fret of the second string, hold the fourth string third fret and just below it you will the fourth finger which is the third string third fret this 
will be a B flat minor chord or a A sharp minor chord in the bar position. Now these chords are also transferable. So if you play your A sharp chord starting from the third fret, it becomes a C minor bar chord. Your A sharp minor chord will become a C minor chord. Now for example, if you want to hold the E minor bar chord, you hold the same shape starting on the seventh fret of the fifth string. So what you do is you hold the same shape starting on the seventh fret on the fifth string, which is an E note. So this makes it an E minor bar chord on the fifth string position. Let's try to uh, learn 12 different types of major bar chords starting on the fifth string. Now it's very easy to learn that because these chords are transferable. So, so for example, if I know the A sharp major chord, which is like this, I can play the B major, C major, C sharp major, D major, D sharp major, E major, F major, F sharp major, G major, G sharp major, A major, and so on. Similarly, you can also learn the minor chords starting on the from the fifth string, starting from the fifth string, which is uh, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, B sharp minor, E minor. F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor. Thanks a lot for dropping by and watching this video. You can technically learn 48 types of chords just from this method and use them in any progression and technically play any type of song which includes um, only the major and minor chords. Please share this video with your friends so they can also learn this method and uh, make it easier for them to understand all types of chords.